keeping him from... Didn't hurt. <laughs> it's obvious his toleration for pain is incredible. Increase it, hell, Doctor. Everyone has a breaking point. <laughs> yes, my kind of... Perhaps there is another way. It's highly experimental, but there's a chance it would work. Make sure it does, or we will be testing your ability to tolerate pain. <laughs> well, Captain Thomas, it appears you are to be the guinea pig in my new experiment on neurological breakdown. <laughs> Well, no matter how terrible your plans for me, I ain't talking. <laughs> we'll see. Send it in! You see, if I can't extract the information using extreme pain, perhaps... Extreme pleasure, will work. Sure worth a try. Silence! You will not be so flippant after these girls have had their way with you. Kissing. No. Stroke. Caress. Please. Smothering you in a way which no man can endure without cracking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be honest with you. We never covered this in basic training, Zane, but I'm going to do my level best to fight you every inch of the way. Greta. Show the funny flyboy a demonstration in the terror he will endure. <laughs> oh, ah, the pain, the pain, ah, oh, oh. Heidi? Show him who is the strongest. Help, help, I'm psychologically disoriented. Oh. <laughs> we will see who we win this war! Stop it, you monsters. I won't talk, I tell you. I won't talk. <laughs> I'll see you in three months! <laughs> You're never gonna talk. We can keep doing this. Oh, what a shame. Here we are torturing you and we don't even know your name. Yeah, well, forget it. I'm gonna tell you my name, see? Keep it up. Oh, Keep it going all Dave. night and forever. It's Dave. Oh. Dave. Dave? There's no F in that. It's just Dave. D-A-V-E. <laughs> Dave. Uh. <laughs> oh, stop it, girls, please. <laughs> Dave. 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 Fran. Oh, uh... I was just working on an idea for a scene that I think shows man's inhumanity to man. It's a terrible oh, thing. Oh, no, no, hold on, Dave. Let's be honest. Everyone knows that these lofty concepts of yours are just a cover-up for some cheap scene idea starring you and a bunch of pretty girls in bathing suits. Am I that transparent, Fran? I'm afraid so. But it doesn't make me a bad person, does it? Oh, no, honey, it just makes you a little weasel. Well, I can look at that. And she says to me... Come on! Oh, no, no, please, come please, on. please, no! Come oh, on. The chair! Ah! Now, come on. There's nothing to be scared of, Mr. Frigaton. Crichton! Leon Crichton. Well, there you go. Nothing to it. He won't have to... Drill, will he? Now, the doctor will be in in just a moment. Oh. And remember, Leon, you have nothing to fear but fear itself. Well, isn't that enough? Leon! Ah! Oh, relax, will ya? I'm your guardian angel. You see, I protect you, so nothing terrible will ever happen to you. For as long as I'm here, you never have to worry. For you see, Leon... Uh, ah! Oh, oh, my little heart! You're an angel. You can't die. Please. I don't make the rules, Leon. Oh, you're on your own now, you big wimp. Oh. Ah! Ah! Calm down, Leon. I'm calm. There's nothing to be afraid of. You don't understand. I had a little angel on my shoulder and he died. Don't be ridiculous, Leon. You're just riddled with fear and anxiety and you're starting to hallucinate. Well, if you say so, Dr. Bono. 
Now, uh, my nurse tells me that you're complaining of a toothache. Well, gee, I, I don't feel it right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got good news. Really? What? I bought a new car today. Oh. <laughs> but what about my tooth? Oh, we're going to have to drill. Oh, no. No, no, please. No. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Plus, they're, uh, they're throwing in chrome wheels and a car phone. Oh, that's nice. I mean, it certainly is. Now, open wide. Okay. There we go. Relax now, Leon. Relax. Oh. We'll soon be done. You'll be out of here. All we've got to do is uh, I have to use a few of these tools and you're home. These tools here? Oh. Ah! <laughs> now, Leon, look at this. I'm still scared. Leon. Leon. I feel better now. This is a model. Oh. Okay, I just want to show you how to brush your teeth properly. Oh, okay. Why do you always make such a big issue out of this? You know, you've got to, you've got to relax. All right. You've got to start growing up and learning how to face life's challenges head on. Okay. Instead of being such a crybaby all the time. Excuse me, Dr. Bono. Oh, excuse me, Leon. Yes, yeah, Shirley. I'm sorry. Dr. Pruitt just called. He says it looks like rain and we're going to have to cancel your golf game. I don't know why he's so upset. They could always go bowling. Hey, hey, hey wait a minute. What? I'm confused. Who said that? Excuse me, Dave. Yeah? Is that your ending for this scene? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it is. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank... I want to thank my guest, Johnny Jake Folsom. He, he collapsed here in between takes. We're all sorry. Johnny, if you're watching from your hospital room, good luck, pal. You've been a great audience. Good night, everybody. This is Harry Smith. And I'm Paula Zahn. Tomorrow, Alan Alda on his new movie, Betsy's Wedding. Also, Olympic star Carl Lewis and Roxanne Pulitzer on her new book on CBS This Morning. Stay tuned for your local news, followed by Wise Guy on CBS Late Night.